acquiring higher qualifications higher degrees at an early age is always an advantage mm -hmm. and you can always get better jobs so you can get an offer you can get an opportunity to work in to to study in iits environments of iits and iits and uh, basically make an excellent career there are total 65 questions boys and girls the duration of the examination is 3 hours and generally this examination is conducted in the month of february and the total marks for the for which the exam is conducted is 100 for psu shortlisting gate score is mandatory many psus basically the gate score is mandatory and large in general it is observed that for the past 5 to 10 years or 8 to 10 years i say the cutoff hovers between like 28 to 30 Hi, this is Dr. Khalil Khan welcoming you on to GFG platform. Boys and girls, in this session, we are going to discuss about gate exam. I mean, in fact, I'm going, going to bring a series of uh, uh, sessions on the gate examination journey. Like starting with what is gate exam, what is the significance of gate exam, and how gate exam is going to help you build your career, the role of uh, uh, gate exam in career building. The roadmap, the preparation strategies, the do's and don'ts, all aspects with regard to gate preparation. I'm going to bring a series of lectures which is going to help you in just in case if you are trying to prepare for gate for multitude benefits. Okay. So in this regard, this is my first video where I'm going to talk about starting with what is gate exam. Like for example, we'll discuss eligibility criteria, the syllabus, for example, of computer science. Like that, you can uh, see the syllabus of other uh, branches as well. The salary packages in general that you are going to get with PSUs, for ex ex uh, example. So the, the selection process. How are you going to get selected for PSUs? What is the selection uh, parameters and the metric and the examination pattern, the cutoff? So this first video is going to focus on all these aspects. So boys and girls, those who are in first year of engineering, second year of engineering, particularly CS and Allied branches, so this, going, this video is going to be of uh, immense uh, use or helpful for getting to know, accustoming yourself with uh, the gate exam. Okay, so let's start. So as far as the career is concerned, career of computer science and light branches is concerned, there are two options. Either you can go for higher studies or you can go for job. Many a time students ask, sir, what should I do? Should I go for higher studies or should I go for uh, uh, I mean, uh, the placements? So that uh, I would say it's a matter of your personal choice. You have to weigh the different options. Like for example, I used to say in, in case if your family needs your services, the family background, economical background is slightly poor, then you go for a job. But when you're planning for a job, think of good company, big companies rather than small average service based companies. Okay, so that you ha get the necessary good exposure which is going to have a very good uh, career down the line ahead 10 years, 15 years from now. So you should plan like that. Otherwise, uh, I would recommend in case if your family can afford that, you can go for higher studies. You must go for higher studies because acquiring higher qualifications, higher degrees at an early age is always an advantage. And you can always get better jobs by placing yourself uh, uh, into reputed institutions of the country like IITs, NITs, triple ITs and so on. So you should always think for acquiring higher qualifications right in sequence along with engineering. So in that regard, it is always advisable that uh, the engineering graduates and particularly CSA allied branches, those students who are listening to me in first year and second year, you must give a thought, serious thought about preparing for GATE. If you start preparing right away from second year, I'm very sure you are going to get a, a, a humongous rank, a good rank, very good score, very good performance. Okay, and through gate, as I'm going to show you, you are also you can also basically expect uh, to work in PSUs. You can get a chance to work in PSU through gate exam. So there are multitude benefits, humongous benefits of writing the gate exam, preparing for gate. Uh, okay, so let's start uh, the discussion in this uh, session briefly about what is gate and other aspects which I told just now. So it stands for graduate aptitude test in engineering. It is going to test your aptitude, your technical knowledge, non-technical knowledge of engineering. In comparison to, in comparison to uh, the university exams, the gate exam is altogether a different pattern. Altogether a different pattern. Generally in university uh, level examinations or college level examinations, you have uh, uh, subjective questions. And here you have pure objective question testing your basic aptitude 
basic applicability of task okay it's a national level entrance examination it serves as a gateway for students to pursue their post graduate studies in iits and nits and other institutions right other institutions so those of you perhaps while uh, you are studying in first year of engineering in tier 2 tier 3 colleges or maybe tier 4 colleges might have tried for iit j but due, because of some reasons maybe you are very close and could not uh, succeed so i would tell such students that no no worries uh, for for that but still there is a chance that you can open the gates of uh, iits and other such institutions through examinations like gate okay that is another uh, uh benefit i can say for the gate exam it's a nash at uh, the world level i can say it stands a ranking of 4 across the globe the gate exam <coughs> ranking number 1 is uh, right the, the chinese examination number 2 is uh, basically gao kao is number 1 and uh, number 2 is basically like upsc number 3 is j number 4 is gate so that is the level of importance of this exam across the uh, globe okay so you can get an offer you can get an opportunity to work in, to to study in iits environments of iits and iits and uh, basically make an excellent career okay this examination is organized by a consortium of uh, first generation iits like for example indian institute of technology in delhi guwahati kanpur kharagpur right madras mumbai and uh, roorkee right so six institutions including indian institute of science bangalore okay so that is uh, uh, about uh, the organization uh, organizing institutes now coming to the gate pattern it is purely a, an objective objective type of uh, questions involving mcqs and involving msqs and numerical answer type where you have some negativity also so let's uh, study this flow chart to understand the examination pattern there are total 65 questions boys and girls the duration of the examination is 3 hours and generally this examination is conducted in the month of february and the total marks for the for which the exam is conducted is 100 and the questions are of two types general aptitude and the subject specific question that is four subjects general aptitude you have uh, basically ga 10 questions five of one mark and five of two marks this question, this basically general aptitude is on uh, uh, your uh, aptitude uh, patterns which you study uh, might have studied at your 10th level 11th or 12th level then coming to subject specific questions of 55 marks are divided into mcq and msq and numerical answer type mcq will have only one correct option and there is a negative marking here for one third and msq negative marking no there is no negative marking numerical answer type also there is no negative mar marking so boys and girls negative marking is only for 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 mcq so general aptitude is 15 marks and subject uh, aptitude or subject uh, uh, marks are 85 so that is about uh, uh, the examination pattern now eligibility criteria if you if you observe for undergraduate students even third year or higher so those who are in third year those who are in final year or those who have already completed of be or btech or br can basically apply for writing the gate exam for post graduate students like final year students of mca msc ma in science math statistics or computer applications or already completed master degree can also apply for writing gate exam and there is an integrated student integrated degree student like second third fourth year of five year integrated masters program btech plus mtech in several institutions or fourth or fifth year of a dual degree program of btech and mba they are also eligible for writing gate exam professional certification pass section a of ami or mic or mi it certification must be recognized by ugc and aict for such students are also eligible for writing gate exams okay so that is about the eligibility criteria so engineering student those who are in first year and second year please keep a point in mind that if you write the exam in third year you stand a chance to appear for the exam again in fourth year so you get dual opportunity to write the exam and seek good marks and do better uh, and achieve better performance okay so that is about the eligibility criteria coming to the syllabus of computer science this for csit paper boys and girls so you have engineering mathematics discrete mathematics 
computer organization and architecture core subject programming and data structures algorithms commonly called as dsa theory of computation flat compiler design operating system databases computer networks aptitude and data logic so including aptitude and engineering math mathematics you can see uh, basically there are 12 subjects 12 subjects which you have to base, uh, which you have to prepare okay so 10 are core and the remaining even digital logic is also there as part of uh, uh, digital design or digital logic as part of the curriculum of computer science and allied branches now selection process for psu and others so for psu shortlisting gate score is mandatory many psus basically the gate score is mandatory so the gate score is used to shortlist the candidates and then in some cases you even have to appear for the interview so the final selection will be done based on the performance in the interview then further evaluation you may have group discussion or pi rounds where they assess your technical and soft skills right written test that is optional in some cases discipline specific for further evaluation then the final uh, selection merit list based on gate plus the performance in the interviews and other if uh, required any written test the offers uh, the offer final offers are made or given to the top ranked candidates and basically for mtech and ms admissions in iits and nits triple it what is the procedure through a, a, a process called coap which is done started after the declaration of the results then in nits triple it and uh, cfti institutions via ccmt counseling these are the bodies the organizing organizations uh, not organizations are exactly the body which is responsible for facilitating the admission process okay generally the cutoff marks what is the uh, 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 level basically for cutoff like for example for gate 2025 for csit and da data science because for csc there are two papers one is pure csit and the other is data science and artificial intelligence right this can be basically for uh, those who are pursuing engineering in artificial intelligence machine learning okay and related such, such streams or even the other branches of engineering like uh, electrical mechanical students they can also think of appearing for da paper so boys and girls the general cut off what we have saw, what we have seen for 2025 is 29.2 so i would like to tell you that by and large in general it is observed that for the past 5 to 10 years or 8 to 10 years i say the cut off hovers between like 28 to 30 this will be the cut off for general category and for obc and other uh, other uh, reservations 26.2 scst pwd 19.4 and like that the cut off for data science also you can see so these cut off will give you an idea as to what what level of preparation is needed so that you can uh, uh, basically start preparing for it now the question is shall uh, sir how do we prepare for gate exam should should we go for uh, basically our own uh, preparation or should we go for uh, uh, essentially so it involves a lot of competition and to face that competition and excel in it then it is better that you get associated with platforms like gfg where we have experience a fleet of experienced faculties okay uh, who who have who has basically not less than 15 years of experience like for example take myself i'm part of gfg team and uh, i have more than 25 years of tutoring and mentoring the students for gate i have been teaching for gate for more than 25 years now so like that my other colleagues in the team are also having experience huge experiences and uh, many of them are also from reputed institutions like they are alumni of iits and then nits and so on okay so if you basically get associated with uh, the platforms you can basically uh, get the experience and then learn in stipulated period of time right rather than studying on your own digging the resources trying to find out where, which subject where to study etc rather than that if you take the experiences at a very uh, competitive price right ultra uh, affordable prices we have for the batches so you can think of the enrollment you can get in touch with us to get the details like for example we also have test series to facilitate your preparation right and these are the uh, option i mean uh, features of the test series we have all india mock test and then expert curated questions including video solutions 30 topic wise test subject wise test full length test we have mixed subject test and the price is very very affordable 
which is uh, 999 a very affordable price which you can take to uh, basically uh, uh, facilitate your preparation and we are also offering isro and nic uh, batches at a, a very affordable price of 5999 so you can think of joining now if you really want to prepare and write the exams of isro and nic and this is what i was mentioning about the gfg group the team myself we have malaysian from uh, iit bombay and Chandan is a scientist. We have Vina Shailendra Vijay, who is known as popularly as the king of uh, YouTube. And uh, he has a very huge fan following, right? And then Satish, very experienced teacher of discrete mathematics. And we have Dr. Parth for Gate DA. He, his uh, expertise in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Gaurav for computer networking. He's also an IITN. And Sakshi is also an IITN. Uh, a uh, very uh, versatile uh, teacher of mathematics, educator of mathematics. So these are the very experienced people who are going to deliver the content, right? Uh, suiting to the requirements of GATE exactly and uh, also nurturing, uh, leveraging the uh, level of preparation which is required for an aspirant, okay? So you can think seriously, this is the Geeks for Geeks QR code. You can scan to get the details of the batches and other things. And this is the, uh, my uh, Telegram channel, you can join to get the updates and then get the resources, get in a chance to communicate with other peer students, aspirants. And in case if you have uh, any queries, you can uh, email me on my uh, official email id, khalil.com at geeksforgeeks.com and that is again the QR code of uh, uh, the organization Geeks for Geeks. Okay. So this is what we have in this session. As I mentioned, as I told you earlier, Okay, in the next sessions, coming up sessions, we are going to talk more about the GATE exam preparation journey. Like for example, how to prepare for the subjects, right? In what order should we prepare? And uh, what are the do's and don'ts? What is the roadmap? What is the ideal strategy? And then detailed information about the various programs, fee structures, everything we are going to talk about as a bunch of lectures in this series, okay? So take care. Thank you so much for, for this session.